What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost. And when it comes to Marvel Phase 4, the question that so many people are asking is who asked for this? Who asked for these characters to be brought to the forefront the way that so many of them have been? The answer is no one. No one asked for this. Just like so many of these characters that they're about to introduce to the Marvel Cinematic Universe failed in comics. From 2014 on, so many of these characters were brought in and poorly received. No one liked them, but now they're being brought into the MCU. And reality is that Kevin Feige told us all this would happen. Kevin Feige told us that diversity and representation was going to be the agenda going forward in the MCU. Some people didn't want to listen to that. Some people were hopeful that it would still be good. But I think safely we can say that when we look at the landscape, when we look at the people that are creating these things, the characters they're introducing and pushing, the MCU as we knew it is over. It has been over for quite some time. I, I've i been talking about this since really phase three when everything started to feel the same and you could tell what was going on and what the future was going to be. But now with all these announcements, including the one we have today, Kevin Feige confirms Riri Williams to appear in Black Panther 2. The writing is, um, is on the wall. It has been on the wall for quite some time. And more of these characters who were failures in the comic books are now being brought into the MCU. It doesn't matter where we're talking about Jane Foster as female Thor. It doesn't matter if we're talking about Riri Williams as Ironheart, Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. Over and over again, we are seeing these characters who were brought in to the comic books and failed. They didn't sell. Nobody liked them. Nobody liked these characters in the comic books, but now they're using their existence in the comic books as a reason to bring them into the MCU for diversity and representation. Now, let's get into this article. Riri Williams, if you don't know, is Ironheart. And of course, Ironheart is a, a, a better Iron Man, better than Tony Stark ever was. She improves on Tony Stark's design. She's smarter than Tony Stark. And she was very poorly received in the comic books. And of course, she's a young black female because uh, that's who we're pushing now at the MCU, regardless of whether anyone cares about these characters or not. Marvel boss Kevin Feige recently confirmed that Riri Williams, aka Ironheart, will appear in the upcoming Black Panther 2 film. Now, we had heard that there was a Disney Plus Ironheart series in the works quite some time ago, but the idea that she's now going to make her introduction in Black Panther 2, we all know why. Because there is going to be a built-in excuse and something they're going to label people if you don't like this character. Well, if you don't like this character, it must just be because you're an is, you're a phobe, you're all these things. We know that's going to be what they use, how they're going to promote Black Panther to it, anyone who criticizes it. We saw it to a lesser extent with the first Black Panther. If you didn't say that you liked that movie, well, you must not like black characters. When in reality, there's a lot of reasons to be critical of that movie. Movie made a billion dollars, got great radiant, got great ratings for both audiences and critics. But when I looked at it, I'm like, it's kind of a six movie, to be honest with you. It's kind of a six. Uh, T'Challa was far more interesting in Civil War than he was in Black Panther, his own solo movie. The CGI was absolutely atrocious, and a lot of the plot just didn't make sense uh, when you actually thought about it. But regardless of that, Black Panther 2 is going to be pushed in the same way, and the criticisms are going to face the same pushback from the mainstream media. That is why they're going to introduce Ironheart, Riri Williams, in this movie. Um, Feige explained, we're shooting Black Panther Wakanda Forever right now, and the character of Riri Williams you will meet in Black Panther 2 first. He then added, she started shooting, I think, this week before her Ironheart series. And of course, we now know who the actress will be. During the presentation, he stated, Ironheart will be a series for Disney Plus about genius inventor Riri Williams, who has the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Dominique Thorne will play the title role. I can't say I really know anything about her. I do know that this character no one cares about. No one cares about this character, just like no one cares about so many of the characters they're deciding to push. They have leapfrogged so many characters that people do care about in Marvel. Marvel characters that people would love to see on screen. They fast forward and past that so that they can go to these failed characters, so that they can push them on the big screen for diversity reasons. That's the bottom line, and Kevin Feige has been very, very open about that. He added, and as we like to do, both Secret Invasion and Ironheart will tie directly into MCU feature films. 
Uh, in the comics, Iron Heart is an Iron Man knockoff. The character actually built her first suit of armor with stolen pieces of equipment and in technology. Half a mile. Use MIT. the right two lanes to take God. exit 20 for I-8 West. Yes, I know. I, the Google lady, I don't know if you guys can hear that on the recording. The Google lady is giving me directions and I do not care. Uh, she was first introduced as uh, in Invincible Iron Man 7. It was created by Brian Michael Bennis and Mike Didato. Uh, the bottom line is exactly what I put in the thumbnail, exactly what I'm likely going to title this video. Who asked for this? The question is no one. No one wants this. No one asked for this. It's for this minuscule amount of people on Twitter that are going to freak out about it because, oh, look, another black female character is represented. Yay! You're just toxic if you don't want this. This character is not something anyone cares about, but it's going to be pushed because that is the MCU. In half a mile, the take MCU. exit one for West and Mission course, Bay Drive West, Sports Arena Boulevard. We're almost to the place I don't care anymore. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. This is the way the MCU has been going for a while. And uh, unfortunately, it's where it will be for quite some time. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this take video out there, one. and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.